Hey, quilters, welcome to AccuQuilt Live. I am Pam Heller, AccuQuilt's cutting expert. Thank you so much for joining us on this Wednesday morning. Okay, quilters, here in Omaha, Nebraska, yesterday the temperature was like negative 47, or I guess on Monday. Um, so we are having rolling power outages uh, to help conserve energy here in the Midwest. So if you lose, if we're gone, we still love you. Okay, our website to order is off site, so you'll still be able to place orders, even though Christina and I and the team aren't here. Okay, so just be aware that we're having power outages. Okay, Christina is in the house. How are you, my well, friend? Mildly warmer. Mildly. I know it was 10 this morning when I got in the car. I was like, dang, I don't think I need to wear a coat. No, it's like a heat wave. I know, it was great. Okay, now we're talking about upcycling today, yeah. and you did the cutest thing for I Oscar. I Tell us him, about it. I made him this cute little pillow bed. Um, with some little charm squares that were minky and I stuffed it with the scraps, like the tiny little scraps mm -hmm. from all the quilts I've ever made. Yes. I stuffed it for him and clearly he loves it. That's as close yeah. as he's gotten to it. <laughs> she has tried for like a week now, right? Yep, I was like, put him on it. it he won't lay you on anyway. You tried catnip, yep. everything. He won't touch it. <laughs> So great. So that is Oscar. We always talk about Oscar. That is our sweet friend, Oscar. Okay, so where is everyone watching from today? Okay, first of all, huge shout out to Shirley, who is in Austin, Texas. She has no power, no water, but her laptop is working. And she's watching us today. Shirley, thanks for watching us today. Um, who else? Oh, we have Susan from Maine. Lots of people are without power today yes, um, down in the south. So stay warm. Um, all of my friends in California sent me that meme about the foot of sunshine. You know oh. how it's 80 degrees. <laughs> so, All right. So thank you for joining us today. All right, quilters, yesterday we had our lunch party. Christina, wasn't it so fun? It was so fun. I loved the dinosaur surprises. Yes. And our special guest. Yes. Our dinosaur was hilarious. <laughs> and um, did you have a favorite? Was coffee and tea or the dinosaurs your favorite? Uh, while I'm a big coffee fan, I love the dinosaurs. They're so cute. Yeah. Super cute. Super them. cute. Um, it was a roaring good time. And we released two new dyes. Our Go Dinosaur Medley die. Do you want to hand me those right there, Mr. Mike? Thank you. Um, here is our dinosaur medley die. It has three shapes. Listen, you need to watch the show because I told all sorts of dinosaur jokes. <laughs> they were hilarious. And um, coffee and tea medley. So these are two new dies. They're available at AccuQuilt.com um, or from your local signature retailer. If you missed it, you can watch our show on our Facebook and YouTube channels. Mm -hmm. Now, we got to give some props to Christina. Because <laughs> she, this were the very first packaging she designed. Did. Good job. Thank Congratulations. You. I asked her, I know we should oh, clap. stop. I asked her if we should send some to her mom so she could put it on the fridge. Yeah, I'm almost 30 and my mom still puts my stuff I'm on totally the fridge. I'm totally sending them to your mom. Christina's mom, I'm sending you packaging for these. Okay? All right. Thank you. All right. Today is one of my favorite photos of the day. This is called Madam X. It is this amazing quilt by this amazing quilt artist, Luke Haynes. And this actually quilt actually lives in the AccuQuilt permanent collection. Mm -hmm. It is here in our home base. We love it. We see it every day. And the whole reason it's the picture of the day is because Luke used completely recycled fabric and, and materials yes. to make this and so many of his other quilts, right, Christina? Yes. Um, it's just such a beautiful, beautiful quilt. So this is Madam X. Whenever COVID is over and you can come tour the facility, you want to make sure you check it out. And in just a few minutes, we're going to talk to the amazing Luke Haynes. I know via Zoom, isn't technology wonderful? Okay, so here's my question of the day. So we're talking about upcycling and recycling, and uh, we want to hear what projects you've made with recycled project with recycled fabrics. So you, besides Oscar's little pillow, have you made anything else? No, that's been the only thing that used up a whole bag I had of scraps, which right? I didn't, I couldn't, I felt bad throwing them away, even though they were tiny strips and strings, but right. I felt like I had to make something with yes. it. Yes, and you sprayed it with catnip and everything, yeah, and, and he, he still, still doesn't love it. Nope. Okay, so in the comments section today, what kind of items have you made from your recycled fabrics? All right, now we have a few photos from some folks that shared their finished projects. Thank you for sharing with them. First, we have April W. Okay, this is such a cute project. This is our Leaping Frogs die, 
and my all-time favorite shape, half square triangle. So April, good job. I feel like it's so cute for spring, right? Yes, I feel like we don't see enough quilts made with that cute little frog. No, I like the frog. I like the frog. Okay, next we have, okay, I hope I see your name right, Alicia S. And look, she's done curves. Don't be scared of curves, quilters. Oh, so we have pretty. notches to help you line up those curves. Yes. Look how cute that is. And finally, Nicole K. Okay, first of all, Nicole K., who is that cute little girl in the corner? Because <laughs> she is darling, and the quilt is nice too. Okay, <laughs> so we're glad you shared with us. Um, I feel like she shared on social media. I feel like it was her granddaughter. Yeah. Quilters, we would love to see your finished projects. You can share them with us on our Facebook page so you can be part of our AccuQuilt Live events. All right, you're our AccuQuilt family. We love you. Of course, we have a promo for you. It's AccuQuilt Live on Wednesday. So for today only until midnight central time, you can take 25% off your order when you spend $100 or more. Okay, 25% off your order, spend $100 or more. The code, because one day it will be SPRING25, <laughs> S-P-R-I-N-G-2-5. But Christina, tell us about free shipping. So if you spend over $150, which you're already spending over $100 to get the deal today, so. Right, just another add another 50. die. Yeah, um, it's free shipping to the contiguous United States. There you go, okay? No code required, you just get it. No code, we're just gonna give it to you. Okay, but you got to use the code SPRING25 to get that 25% off your order today. And that includes everything, right? Like mats and dyes yes, it, and yep. all this stuff. And it things. just doesn't include like the new dyes. Yeah, not those new dyes. But those are listed on our website, so all the exclusions yeah. are on. You can just shop at AccuQuilt.com slash live. There you go. AccuQuilt.com slash live. All right, so today we're going to make these super cute um, totes. And in honor of that, we're going to give away a three and a half inch strip die to one lucky viewer. All you have to do is share a video on your personal Facebook page for a chance to win. Uh, Morgan's going to pick the winner. Christina's going to announce it, and we will all clap yes. at the end of the show. <laughs> so three and a half inch strip die, it's one of my favorites, Christina. Yeah. I use it a lot. I use it for, like, borders oh. and um, when I'm making squares and stuff. I really like three and a half inch strip. Okay. It's one of my favorites. I feel like most people have a two and a half inch strip. Listen, if you don't have a two and a half inch strip, 55017, <laughs> put it in your cart so you can get 25% off mm -hmm. if you spend more than 100. And okay? then when it's 25% off, it's only $67. Oh, see, there you go. And get you a new mat, mm -hmm. okay? Because Christine, what happens if you try to use a dive without a mat? Not a darn thing. Not a darn thing. <laughs> okay, okay, so today we're gonna make these super cute uh, spring patchwork upcycled totes. Our good friend, Stephanie Jacobson, who's part of the Omaha Modern Quilt Guild, she designed these for us, wrote that cute pattern, made these cute things. Um, so we're gonna talk about ways that you can upcycle fabric and jeans and all of that kind of stuff. So be sure and download the free pattern at AccuQuilt.com. Read all of the instructions, not just some of them, before you get started, okay? This bag is gonna go together super fast. And I'm gonna show you the super cool trick on how to make those patchwork strips using our three and a half inch strip die, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna do is these are some old jeans um, that were at the Heller house. I don't know who they belong to, but they now belong to AccuQuilt, okay? So they were old jeans and um, I chose jeans that were kind of um, lighter, right? Christina, mm -hmm. some of the jeans are pretty thick. So um, I chose these jeans, and I'm gonna show you this really cool trick that Luke showed me real quick on how to kind of cut your fabric up. I spent the whole day with Luke one day, and I was his good helper, and I cut fabric <laughs> up for him, okay? Listen, this is the only time I give you permission to use a rotary cutter, okay? So what you wanna do is you wanna get rid of this thick part here, this thick seam and the cuff. So I'm just gonna take my little clear plastic ruler. Okay, I've kind of started it here. Boy, keep your fingers away because you got to kind of really um, go hard, okay? Yeah, and then here, look. Tough. It is. That cuff is tough. Oh, I rhymed. <laughs> oh, while you're cutting that, uh, Nicole's actually in the comments and she said, she was our last image, she said that's her daughter. She picked out the fabrics and it was her first quilt. Nicole, congratulations. She's darling. She's four by and a half way. now. Oh, so she, listen. 
Soon she'll be six like Oakley and know everything. <laughs> okay, so now look. So now I have viable fabric, okay? And I'm not gonna cut this part because as I'm cutting my three and a half inch strips, um, it's gonna be really easy to just use this section. And this is why I chose the legs. Um, the, another great way is to use um, the sleeves. Oh, Because okay. sleeves have lots of fabric. Yeah. In. Yeah, okay? All right, so let's cut some fabric because there's a die for that. Okay, now I only need two strips of um, my denim. And I'm making this cute bag for Oakley. Look at, this is half of it. Okay, um, Oakley is taking indoor swimming lessons because it is 35 degrees below zero outside. <laughs> and she just needed a quick tote bag that she could throw her swimsuit in and her goggles in. And that's it. It's not like her summer bag that has toys and stuff, <laughs> okay? So just a quick bag. And this one is perfect because it's small enough. She can just grab it. If it gets wet, it's okay because we can wash it. Okay, so think about those kinds of things, okay? So remember, I only need two strips. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line up. Oh, hey, I have an overhead camera. Huh. I'm gonna take the edge right here where that seam is and I'm gonna line it up right here on the blades. The three and a half only has three strips, or three blades, right there. These are just for reference, we'll talk about them, okay? So I just wanna make sure my fabric goes here. Now, since it is denim, I'm only gonna cut one layer. And while I cut, Christina, tell us what people have made. I'm excited to hear this. Let's see, Sharon says that she makes pet beds for animal rescues. Oh, good scraps. job. That's where I got the idea to make the bed for Oscar. Oh, Someone there you go. That. Um, Marianne says she makes pet beds for the shelter and donates projects there. She also donates some of the pieces for fidget quilts for Alzheimer's patients. Oh, very cool. So that's lovely. Um, Ada we says that she makes jean rug quilts. Oh, very good. Yes. Okay. See, I feel like so many of our quilters do charity stuff. Yes, I think so too. I saw yeah. someone mention Project Linus in here too. So yeah. that's another awesome place to use your scraps. Okay, I'm using my Go Big today, because I can. <laughs> uh, but all of our strip dies fit through a Go Fabric Cutter as well. So as it's gone through the cutter, the static is built up. Oh, it's so dry in here. Okay, but it is warm, okay? So I'm gonna slide my mat, don't lift. See, look at all that static that came off. But look at this. Try to cut denim with your rotary cutter, that's slick. <laughs> okay, I dare ya. Okay, so I need two of these. And then um, I'm gonna cut, um, I just used fat quarters. Because I feel like fat quarters, um, I have so many of them in my stash. Do you have quite a few fat quarters? I, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of can't resist them. Yeah, I know you think, oh, I need those. And then you're like, ooh, what did I need those mm -hmm. for? Okay. So I'm just gonna lay my fat quarter. Um, I just kind of subcut it, all right? Oh, there's a ghost in the dream studio. It's making our machine work. There we go. It's okay, it doesn't like it when you push it. It's like teenagers. <laughs> Don't tell it what to do, okay? So while this is cutting, all right, remember you can always cut six layers of good quilting cotton, but again, with my strip, with my denim, I'm only gonna cut one layer at a time, okay? Give it some love. Slide that mat, don't lift. Okay. All right. Um, okay. And then what you need to do is, in order to make sure you're all ready, so here's my two strips. Um, you need a four and a half inch by um, 16 and a half inches. Yes. Um, for the bottom. And again, I just used fat quarters because I have a bazillion of them, okay? And then, this is the only other time I'm gonna let you use um, your rotary cutter. You need to cut <laughs> two pieces of lining. So look at how fun, doesn't this look like the pool? Yes, that's so I beachy. just wanted it to be bright, okay? Um, 15 and a half by 16 and a half inches, use your rotary cutter and your uh, go mat, okay? All right, join us on March 2nd, 12 noon central time. All good things happen at 12 noon central time for our next live invitation event. 
it's all about why we quilt. So Christina has been quilting not very long. Mm -mm, just since I started here. Just since she started here, and I've been quilting 20 years or so. And we're here together in the same quilting journey, but how we got here is completely different. Yeah. So we're gonna talk about why we quilt, and we're gonna have some new quilters on the show. Hmm, I wonder who that would be, Christina. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> and uh, we're going to celebrate the art of quilting. Now, this is a live event you need to register for. it. Why do they need to register, Christina? So that they are eligible to win prizes. We give away stuff. Yes. All the time. And that's how okay. we pick our winners. Yep. So the link is in the comment section. All right. So now that we've cut some strips and we're talking about upcycling, let's get Luke Haynes on the phone. I'm so excited. Yay. I saw him here just for a minute this morning. And we're going to chat with him about his quilts. Hey, Luke, can you hear me okay? I can. Can you hear me? I can. Thanks for joining us this morning. Um, I understand you were in Miami where it was really warm. Oh, my goodness. I know. I went from uh, sunburn to snowed in. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Midwest. Um, Luke lives in Kansas City, and so we're excited that he's going to join us today. So, Luke, tell, talk to us a little bit about, um, I talked a little bit about Madam X and how she's made completely from upcycled uh, fabric. How did you kind of get into that, and, and why did you use that as your medium? Uh, quilting or uh, upside and, material? And, uh, both. Ah, well, I mean, because I, I can talk about all of it all day, and I know, you know, not everyone's got all day to listen to me rant about it, so I wanted to be specific. Yes. Um, I used um, recycled materials for a couple of reasons. One, because... Um, I have it around, whether I think I do or not, I've always got more clothes in my closet than I need. <laughs> right. So there's just sort of a access to material. Um, it's affordable. You can get it from the Goodwill, you know, go to secondhand stores, you know, your, whoever your partner, your whomever has extra of something. I'll tell you that right now. You've got plenty of fabric laying around. So there's a, a benefit there. Uh, but mainly it's because there's a story to the fabric. So I find that using reclaimed fabric gives you this kind of uh, uh, entry point into a quilt based on what it's made out of. You know, people so often come up to my quilts and say, wow, I had that sheet or right. I had that <laughs> shirt or that reminds me of my grandma. And, uh, you know, then I get to say, well, it might have been your grandma's. Because right. <laughs> I bought it in a pile from Goodwill. Yeah. Wonderful. And how long have you been on your quilting journey? Let's see, since probably 2002. Is that right? So we're coming up on 20 years, I guess. 20 years. Yeah. That's awesome. That's awesome. And do you have a favorite um, upcycled fabric that you like to use? Do you like to use denim or do you like to use cotton? Do you have a favorite fabric that you like to use when you're quilting? Well, you know, favorites are always hard to decide in the sense that it depends on the project, but I love a woven shirt because often you get both sides of it will have, you know, the color on it. So I don't have to worry about oh. remembering front to front, back to front, upside sure. down. It just comes out fine and, you know, you quilt it and it's all fine. <laughs> it's all good. And you don't typically make small quilts, right? You make big, large quilts. So what's the average size? Um, we were lucky enough to have your log cabin ex uh, exhibit here in the Dream Studio or in our gallery. Um, what was the average size of those quilts? So the quilts I like to make are 90 inches by 90 inches because that's the size that fits on my bed. So for me, that sort of <laughs> fills under the quote unquote uh, quilt category, right? Because right. it means I can use it. Even though they go to shows and they travel the world and they're in right. major collections, I still want to be able to use them if I get chilly. Right. And you kind of have a signature where you take quilts and treat them as architect and art, right? Um, yeah, absolutely. You've kind of thrown uh, I, them in the beach and you've thrown them in mountains and... Yeah, yeah. Sometimes I get some uh, backlash for where I throw them. But uh, <laughs> I mean, my, my big soapbox for the last number of years is that quilts are sculpture um, because there's this depth to them. You can use them. There's a history of utility in, in a way that's very different than... I mean, I'm coming from the fine art world and it's very different than a painting because the painting is only ever that. You hang it on the wall and you either like it or you don't. And that's the end of the conversation. But a quilt, you can hang it on the wall. You can talk about the colors. You could choose to like it or not. But then you can take it off the wall and you can use it on the bed. Or, you know, there's a back, there's a side, there's textures. And, and there's just so much more to it. So in order to help explain that, I take quilts with me wherever I go and just kind of 
throw them willy nilly or or yes. place them gingerly and try to take pictures to help illustrate that. Oh, good. Now, just two more quick questions. Um, so you got married recently, last year or two years? Yeah. Last year? A while ago. And <laughs> did you make a quilt for your wedding? And it wasn't a double wedding quilt, double wedding ring. No, it wasn't a double wedding ring. Uh, I, had made, I had made about five of those the preceding year. And that's a lot of, not yeah. that it's not worth it to make it for my wonderful wife, but it's a lot of work to get all those things put together. Uh, so I actually used um, a uh, more kind of traditional flying geese pattern and then mm. uh, had a picture of her and I from a drawing, yes. an early drawing she did from when we were, when we were courting. Wonderful. Okay, and do you have any upcoming classes that our viewers could take and learn your cool method on how to create quilts? Yeah, absolutely, and thanks for asking. I've you got bet. a class coming up on the 27th. Okay. Um, and it is, uh, it's gonna be a discussion about the backs of quilts, actually. We've got a, a, a quilt collector coming to have his take on what it means to show the other side, and I'm gonna show some ways of, of making some backs out of sheets and discarded material. So kind of quick, dirty ways to make some really interesting stuff after having a really cool discussion about kind of the history of backs and the history of material. Oh, wonderful, I'm excited. All right, well, thank you so much for joining us today. For our viewers here in our AccuQuilt Live team, um, they're gonna throw that up in the comments sections, uh, the link to Luke's uh, class, so make sure that you check it out. And Luke, what's your website in the case our viewers wanna go check you out? Uh, LukeHaines.com. And it has a Y in Haines. Just so you know. <laughs> there is. Hey, thanks so much for joining us today. Give your lo lovely wife a hug for me. We'll do it. Good to see you. Thanks Bye, Sadie. Thanks so Bye. much. Okay, we could have just spent the whole day talking to I Luke know. Haynes, right? I could just listen to him lecture like always. I like, know. He just talks <laughs> and he just has such great insight about quilts. Yes. I just love it. Okay, we should sew some stuff. All right, Christina, what are people making? Oh, so many cool things that I never would have thought of. I'm seeing oh, a lot of... I have shoes on. You like shoes real on? shoes with Why? ties. Oh, because it's cold outside. It's so cold outside. <laughs> um, okay. Cheryl says that she used to make gowns out of old wedding dresses for like preemie babies. Oh, wow. Which is very sweet. Um, her neighbor bought fur coats at a yard sale and they made teddy bears. Oh, very... I oh, that's that. really cute. I love that so much. Okay. Um, let's see. Carol said that she uses denim for potholder backs. Oh, uh, listen. Oh, I've never thought about that. You could use it on our bold cozy die. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Make little bold right? cozies. Um, I have made so many bold cozies. Um, Anel says that she makes rag quilts with denim and sheets. So she's making like the okay. mock cathedral window ones. Love that. Pat makes pillowcases for crisis and abuse centers. Oh, thank you for all you do, quilters. Okay, so see what I'm doing? I should have just been chain piecing, but I was talking to Christina. <laughs> Hold on here. <laughs> okay. And I want to make sure that I'm cutting these, that I'm sewing the right ones, because I had just enough left over for a three and a half inch strip. See, this is what I, happens when I talk. Okay, perfect. Okay. All right, don't forget to share. We're giving away our three and a half inch strip die today. Yes. To one lucky viewer. Okay. Ooh, Cheryl also makes dog toys out of socks and curtains. Really? I don't think curtains out of socks, but that'd be kind of funny. <laughs> Somebody made something really cute out of socks the other day. What was it? Oh, gnomes. Gnomes. Mm -hmm. Gnomes out of socks. I've always got gnomes on the brain here. We have so many gnomes. <laughs> well, that just goes together so easy. Okay, quick little strips. There we go. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we wanna make these strips, okay? So we need four strips sewn together. So, here we go. Now this is the trick I'm gonna show you, okay? Because some of you are thinking in your quilting head, I should just cut squares. No. Mm -mm. If you're gonna sew them together, you can probably cut them together, okay? So now I'm gonna take my little four strips. And again, quilters, you wanna like download the pattern and read the whole thing. Always. Not just some of it. <laughs> 
Stephanie did a great job on our, our pattern, okay? All yes. right. We're also gonna put her link to her blog in the comments as well. Oh, great. She's doing another uh, block of the month this year, so that's definitely something to check out. She's doing half square triangles. I believe so, yes. Because that's my favorite yeah. shape. I know, I should totally do it. <laughs> I finally finished last year's did half you? square triangle <laughs> challenge, yes. I haven't quilted it yet, but the top is done, Stephanie. Stephanie does 87 different quilting projects at a time, and um, she's a pharmacist. Oh. So, bless her heart out there. Okay. All right. So now look. I have this cool little strips. Okay. And I am going to turn them. I'm going to show you the easiest way to cut them to make our strips. Okay, so what you want to do is, I typically do this on my real big iron, not my little cute shovel iron. Okay, I'm just saying. Um, just because it's easier to get a good press. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I'm going to press to the dark side, which right here I'm going to consider the denim. Sure. Okay, all right. So while I'm doing this, don't forget to share. We're giving away our three and a half inch strip die. And don't forget our code today is spring 25. We're gonna take 25% off your order of $100 or more. And if you don't win the strip die, it's also on sale. So it's only 67 bucks. There you go. And the cutting mats are on sale too. Listen, okay, are you watching? This is a cutting mat, a quilter. <laughs> I was at an event. <laughs> And she said, Pam, do you think I need a new cutting mat? Yes, they're 25%, they take 25% off. If your mat looks like this, you need to not use it and get you a new mat. And you get packs of two. Yes, two packs. Why do you need two packs of mats? You know, just because you go through cutting mats so much faster than I feel like you think. Yes, I do. I go through cutting mats so much faster than dies. Dies are going to get thousands of cuts. Our cutting mats are going to get hundreds of cuts. Okay, so you want to flip them and turn them. Thanks to who told us to put it in a mason jar. Okay. All right, so now I've sewn my strips together. Now I'm going to show you the super cool trick on how we're going to make the strips. So I'm going to turn it this way so you can see. So see right here where it says 90 degrees? I am going to lay my strips right here where it says 90 degrees. Okay, now, some of you are already stressed <laughs> about this little tail. Don't be stressed, okay? I'm only gonna run one of these through at a time, okay? Oh, I have to tell you funny in just a second, okay? There's no blades inside our cutter, only rollers. The blades are in the die, okay? So I'm gonna put this here. So um, Oakley and I, <laughs> over the weekend. She was at the house cutting dinosaurs, which I can now say. Yes. Because we have the new dinosaur die, okay? So watch, I'm just gonna run it through. And I just tucked it up right next to it, okay? Speaking of that dinosaur, yes. um, we're almost out of that first shipment of them. So if you want them, you better get them now. Oh, Otherwise you're gonna have yeah, to Oh yeah, get those dinosaurs now. Yes, go get them. So Oakley knows the rule about, she can't, you know, put lots of layers, right? <laughs> And so she was helping me. She was having a great time. She was cutting, out of, cutting them out of felt. Okay, look at this. Look how slick this is. Because then you're going to turn them like this, right? And make these cool little strips. So I'm going to do the last little bit. Okay? Just hang in there with me. All right. Again, I'm going to run them at 90 degrees. So she was not paying attention. And she had some craft foam, and she had glittery craft foam, because apparently at our house dinosaurs are made out of glittery craft foam. And she ran um, uh, almost three layers through. And we heard that big clunk. Oh, no. And she stopped, and she said, oh. And I said, <laughs> oh, okay, what's the rule? She goes, just one. I oh. said, yep. But it was fine. She had kind of offset them, luckily. Mm -hmm. um, speaking of, we have a question from Peggy. Okay. She says, what is the rule for cutting cuddle fabric? 
uh, one layer. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you, if you're going to cut cuddle fabric, you want to put um, fusible or stabilizer on the back mm -hmm. first. Because what happens when you cut cuddle fabric? It shreds. It shreds. You have a lint okay? roller on here. Yeah, hand. you start with a piece this big and you end up with a piece <laughs> this big. Okay? Okay, so look how cool I made my strips. Okay? All right. So I'm going to tell you that's the fastest way to make those strips. All right. Now, don't forget, all of our videos live on our Facebook page. Mm -hmm. So if you think, what did Pam say? How did she show you? Um, you can just go to our Facebook page and watch them again. Okay, so now I have all of my little pieces here. And this was truly the trick I wanted to show you. And then, Christina, we talk about this all the time. You want to lay out your pieces. Yes. How come? Because you're going to mess up. You are. <laughs> or at least just, if you're like me. It, no, I do all the time. <laughs> I just think, what? Why didn't I listen to myself? Okay? So here's one I'm going to show you in just a second. Now, this is that um, bottom piece that's going to go right here. Okay? And you're going to say to me, Pam, that's not right. But remember, there's a quarter of an inch seam allowance together. Okay? So quilters ask me all the time, why is AccuQuilt better than rotary cutting? Okay, first of all, try cutting denim with a rotary cutter. I mean, it's never going to mm -hmm. be straight. It's never going to be easy, okay? Um, so it's just so much faster, and it's more accurate. I think that's the thing, Christina, right? When you're cutting a quilt, you want to make sure you're cutting those pieces accurate. Right, absolutely. Because what happens if you don't? It's a mess. <laughs> it's a mess, and it doesn't come together, and it doesn't work together, right? Okay? All right. So, once you've sewn your sides together, okay, so it's going to look like this. Look how fun this is. And I purposely um, just stitched in the ditch. You want to quilt it first, okay? And I added some backing, a little um, batting to the back, all right? And then the one that I just cut today were, would be the other side, all right, like on Stephanie's. Now... Um, I'm going to show you the super cool trick on how to make the bottoms, okay? Because see how the bottoms are flat, all right? They're not just, a, it's going to sit. There's a companion set inside. <laughs> Buy one today and they can get it for 25% off, okay? So here we go. And props to um, Stephanie because look how cool her little, um, she did super cute quilting oh, on her. I hers. love it. It's got such a beautiful like texture to it. It's just beautiful. Do we have to get these back? No. Like, we could take one home. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. All right. All right. So now I'm going to show you this cool trick on how to make flat bottoms. Okay. Before I do, don't forget to share. Because what are we giving away, Christina? Uh, the strip die, the three and a half inch three strip. Three and a half inch strip die. And if you want to buy that today, how much is it? $67. $67. You should totally be um, figuring out what strip dies you need in your collection mm -hmm. and get them all today. And if you want to upgrade your cutter, that Go Big's only $450. And ship it to you free. Yeah, if yeah. you're in the contiguous United States, you bet. And well, how much is a cube? A cube, oh, I can look. Look That's at a, a cube great question. and see how much that is. Yeah, if you live in the contiguous US, we're gonna ship that to you free. Okay, so this is the lining pieces for my bag. So let's show you Stephanie's. Stephanie just did um, a solid color. She just did cute little muslin in there. Look how cute that is, okay? But I had a whole bunch of fat quarters that I was totally gonna let Oakley um, be in charge of, okay? So what I've done is I've taken my uh, 15 and a half by 16 and a half inch squares. I cut them together because I wanted them to be the same size, okay? And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna stitch a quarter of an inch around the side, okay? Don't forget to share. We're giving away our strip die, okay? All right, so now I'm gonna show you how to make the flat bottoms. You're good, you can keep going, Chelsea, thank you. All right, don't forget, our blog is a place to find inspiration and tutorials, patterns, sewing tips, and more ways to use and love your go cutters and dies. You can meet our go getters. Is mm -hmm. Stephanie a go getter? She is. She is, and her, yes. you put the little link to the, yep. her There's comments. a link to her blog in the comments, yep. yep. All right, and you can join in the conversation our community is having right now. 
Don't forget to join myself and the lovely Erica and Lynn on March 2nd, uh, 12 noon central time for our next live invitation event. It's all about why we quilt. And we have some new quilters on the show and we're gonna celebrate the art of quilting. And Christina, why do they need to register? So that they can be eligible to win our fabulous giveaways. Yes, that's exactly right. Okay, so let me show you how to make flat bottoms. All right. What you're gonna do, again, this is the only other time I'm gonna let you use your rotary cutter. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take your clear plastic ruler and from the corner, we are gonna cut out a one and a half inch square, okay? If you want a bigger bottom, though I don't know why anybody wants a bigger bottom, okay? <laughs> you cut a bigger square, okay? So you decide if you want it to be a little wider at the bottom, a little flatter, then make it a two inch square, okay? It, whatever makes you happy, okay? Um, for these, because these are kind of narrow totes. Oh, here, I gotta do it the right way or I'll never do it right. Um, I'm gonna just do one and a half inches, okay? So just take your rotary cutter, be very careful so you don't cut your fingers. Christina has band-aids, but apparently not at your house, so. <laughs> okay, here we go. I cut my finger the other day on a rotary cutter really bad the other day. Oh no. And I thought I was gonna need stitches. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and Ray, uh, my husband's a physician, and he said, you're fine. <laughs> I said, no, I think I need stitches. And he goes, you're fine. <laughs> he put a Band-Aid on it. He didn't even kiss it better or anything. Like a big boo-boo. <laughs> okay. All right. And you know what? He was right. I was fine. Okay. So now you're going to do this. Once you sew your um, outer pieces together, you're going to do the same thing. Quarter of an inch. You're going to bring it right here. Put that scary thing away. Okay. So the reason we did this is because we sewed right sides together, right? So now what you're gonna do, this is such a cool trick. I watched videos on how to do this so that I would know how to do this correctly. But actually it's a super cool trick. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my opening right here and I'm gonna just push one to one side and one to the other, my seams, okay, right there. All right, and then I'm gonna take it to my sewing machine because it's the same on both sides. Oh, where's a pin? Here, I have one. The lovely Erica has a pin cushion everywhere. Okay, here we go. All right, I'm gonna pin it, and then right here, I'm gonna stitch it. And then I'm gonna show you, this is super cool. I didn't think it would work, so I practiced, but it really does work, okay? And you might want to back stitch this um, just to make sure that it stays in place. Okay? So now I'm going to do the same thing on this side. And then I'm going to turn it inside out and show you our flat bottoms. I know I'm cool. Okay, Christina, what are people making with their upcycled fabrics? There's a great tip from Wendy, and she says to repurpose the mats to use as the bottom of bags. Yes, yep. I have heard quilters say that. That's such so a good idea. Our six by 12 mats or five by 10 mats, they're perfect to lay in the bottom. You could line them if mm -hmm. you wanted to. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Okay, and now I'm just gonna sew another quarter inch seam. Perfect. Okay, oh, it makes me so happy when it works. <laughs> I stress about those kind of things at home. I get it, it's a live show, it's hard. It's a live show, <laughs> we gotta have good things happening. Anything okay? could happen. Okay, there we go. And look, see, now your oh. bottoms are gonna be flat. I didn't know how that was gonna work, but Isn't I trusted that you. Isn't a super cool <laughs> trick? I know, it was stressful, okay? So then you're gonna put your um, outer portion that you've done the same thing to, okay? And you're gonna add the handles. So I kinda wanted to give you a little tip on the handles. Um, for the handles, you're gonna cut a three and a half inch strip, and then you're gonna cut a two and a half inch strip. And then you're gonna say to me, Pam, that's wrong. You, those are two different sizes. And the answer is yes, they are. Okay, so let's look at Stephanie's real quick. So see the wider one? Okay, you're gonna sew them together and then you're gonna press them flat 
and top stitch. So you know what I did, Christina? I just went back and found some jelly roll strips. Mm -hmm. Remember, I don't know when it was, we made something out of a jelly roll. All the time. All the time we make stuff out of jelly rolls. So this would be the center for my handles. And again, you're gonna use the denim. Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah. I love how it's got like that little peeking strip on the side. Yeah. I think that's so cute. Yeah, it's just darling. And then what you wanna do is add that handle before you sew the whole thing together. Okay. So when you turn it inside out, um, like back in July when we made Christmas stockings, stockings you know, yeah. yeah, we have to sew things together first and then turn them inside <laughs> out. Yeah. Okay, don't forget, until 12 midnight central time, you can take 25% off your order when you spend $100 or more. Use that code SPRING25, S-P-R-I-N-G-2-5. Spend $150, you still get the 25% off and free shipping. All right, and then you would just follow the instructions to um, assemble your bag, okay? And again, we're just gonna put right sides together, stitch along the top, leave an opening, bring it inside out, mm -hmm. and then look how cute. Um, now, Stephanie did just a little cute little top stitching along the top here, okay? And she did top stitching on her handles, okay? And then, ta-da, you have a cute little tote. And this one, I, like I said, this is perfect for Oakley because I can throw a swimsuit in there and the goggles, and if it gets wet, it's okay. I can just wash it. It's not a big deal, okay? All right, before we sign off, take 25% of your order when you use, spend $100 or more. Use that code SPRING25. It's good until midnight central time. Quilters, we would love to see your finished projects. You can share them with us on our Facebook page and they can, you can be part of our AccuQuilt Live events. Have you seen some really fun ones lately? Yes, I love like anything our viewers create is always so creative and They're just makes so me- They're so amazing. Just makes me want to make more stuff. I know, it's amazing. I can't wait to see what people make with like that coffee and that like dinosaur. Oh yes. yeah. It's gonna be so yes. cute. And show us your upcycled things. We'd love to see yes. those. Okay, Christina, um, I think Morgan has picked a winner. Yes. All right, can we have a drum roll please? All right, our winner is Alicia Sue Williams Lentz. Excellent, Alicia, thanks for joining us today. Christina is gonna reach out to you and she's gonna get you that three and a half inch strip die. So Alicia, if you don't have a 10 by 24 mat, today's the day to get one because that's what you're gonna need. All right, next week, 12 noon central time, be sure and join us on our AccuQuilt Live. We're gonna showcase that brand new limited edition coffee and tea die right here. Uh, we have a really fun project. Do you want to hand that to me? That's okay. Um, we have a really cute project that we're going to make using the coffee and tea dye. And again, here's this cute little travel to go mug and cute little um, teacups. And the lovely Christina, she designed the packaging for that. All right. All right. Thank you so much for joining us today. Again, a huge shout out to the amazing Lucanes for joining us as part of our AccuQuilt Live today. Don't forget, if you'd love to take his class, his uh, link to take one of his classes is in our comment section. On behalf of our entire Facebook Live, AccuQuote Live team, we have Nick upstairs who's listening to a variety of music. Yeah, he's got a lot playing up there. And he's singing. He is. So <laughs> Nick's upstairs, and we have Katie and Marissa and Morgan and Leslie. Actually, Leslie is in his house, but the rest of them are off-site. In the Dream Studio today, I have Mike and Chelsea and Chelsea Graphics and Joe, our producer, my good friend, Christina. On behalf of all of them, I am Pam Heller here to remind you that at AccuQuote, we help you cut time so you can quote more. Have a great day. We'll see you next Wednesday. Stay warm. <laughs>